Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a in-depth collection tour as well as storing some photo cards. This is my first video on this channel so this is very exciting and I apologize if it's not good because again I really have no idea what I'm doing but let's just get into it. Okay so we're gonna start with my smallest binder so this is my little collect book. And this just houses basically my twice cards. I used to collect Momo, but it just wasn't fun for me. It was sort of over. It was just it just became very overwhelming, very quickly. So I decided to just keep my pulls and just whatever you know twice cards enter my hands. So we have what is love, and then yes or yes, and then fancy and feel special. And more and more. And then eyes wide open. And taste of love. And then finally we have formula of love. And that's it. <laughs> I'm not a big twice collector. I just pick up their albums whenever I usually whenever they have a comeback because all their albums are amazing. So, on to the next one. Okay, so next we'll go over my A5 binder. So this is my Espa slash dump binder. I have this photo card that was drawn by Shining Pins. They're a fan artist and this keychain is also from them. So cute. Try desperately for it not to be crooked. Um, but these are my Espa cards. I collect Miss Ning Ning. She's been complete for a while. We need an Espa comeback, I think. And then I also just have their season's greetings cards in here. And then we start the dump section of this binder. So these are just cards from groups I buy albums for, but don't collect any particular member. So we start with Signature. And then some Eyes 1 and Post Eyes 1 stuff. Luna, Cherry Bullet, Miscellaneous, Itzy, more Miscellaneous, and Blackpink. And that's it. I don't really love this binder and like these pages, but like I want to use them because I have them. So that's why there isn't anything super major that is stored in this binder. Okay, so next we'll be doing my Itsy binder, which is this little zip up A5. All my materials, all my binders, anything you see in my videos will be linked in the description. So if you're curious, that's where that is. So I collect Leah and Yuna. I've, I've collected them pretty much since they debuted, so I'm pretty caught up. I'm missing like two cards at this point. So hopefully I can finish that before their next comeback. But we start with It's Icy. I also highly recommend if you collect members of Itzy to store them in, in an A5 binder because it's so satisfying and like so perfect. Then we have It's Me. And I just collect two units to fill up the page. Not Shy, which this Leah is finally on the way after like two, three years at this point. And then we have Guess Who. as well as the limited cards, and then start of Crazy in Love. And limited cards. Okay, sorry if there was a lighting change or anything, I'm trying to fix the glare. But then we have my secret Yeji page because she's my third bias and if I could collect her, I would. Um, and then we have Leah's Polaroids from Crazy in Love and Eunice Polaroids from Crazy in Love and Leah's Standee. And that's pretty much it. I'm praying for an Itzy come back soon. I miss them. 
Okay, and then last but not least for the A5 binders, we have my red velvet binder. I collect Sulgi. She is my ult of ults of ults of ults of ults. Like, if I could only collect one person, if I could only stand one person, it would be Sulgi. <laughs> and I actually have some cards to put away for this binder, so we'll do that. They're on the back. So, red velvet is... I think my longest standing collection. I've been collecting them since like 2018, 2019. Um, obviously it's not super complete. <laughs> I took a break when their albums went out of print because it was stressing me out too much and the prices of their cards were just, I missed that completely. Oh my God, okay. I have a red summer card. Um, but yeah, the prices of their cards were just way too much and it was stressing me out way too much. <laughs> And so I took a break, but I just missed it so much, and I'm like, this is the collection that I really want to spend time on. So I'm willing to spend money on cards now. <laughs> that's that's the conclusion I came to. But I feel like I have her pretty filled out, considering how difficult it is to find red velvet cards. Obviously, yeah, it's kind of sad, but. We have this monster card, which completes this page. So cute. <sighs> Love them. Okay. We need an Irene and Sylvia come back. <laughs> like, SM. <laughs> give us nothing, but please give us an Irene and Sylvia come back. And then we have this Feel My Rhythm card, which is one of my favorites. Honestly, all her cards this era were, like, absolutely god tier. Um, not a singular bad card. My favorite is definitely the one of her in the pink dress, which I cannot find for the life of me. So, RIP. Um, then we have some non-album for her, season's greetings, and then my album cards for the other girls, because I love all of them so much. And I get emotionally attached to photo cards really easily. And then we have my bigger inclusions for Sulgi. Still missing her bookmark. And that was it for my A5 binder. So now we'll do the big boy. My biggest binder, my only A4 binder. Okay, so finally we have my big binder. This houses most of my collections. Um, I think in here we have obviously Billy, Kepler, Ive, and Mix, Frumis, Rocket Punch, and Alexa. I think that's it. I'm probably missing someone. But we have all of these cards to put away in this binder. So we'll get started. We start off with my Billy Girls. I love them. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're like, them and Kepler are probably some of my favorite girl groups right now. Like they're just, no one is doing it like them. No one is doing it like them. So I collect Sua and Haruna. So we have Village of Perception complete, which this Sua card, God tier, I think. And then this is a fan-made set for Snowy Knight. And then I have the Polaroids from Snowy Knight. And then some of the trading cards. I haven't gotten around to getting Suas. Will I ever do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm happy with this right now. So, but these are so pretty. And then we finally come to Soul and Unconscious. So I have these Sua cards. Finally, I'm making progress on this. Um, so we have her last selfie photo card, go here, so she's so pretty. And then we have these two Polaroids, the iconic motorcycle Sua, god tier. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, god tier. She bias wrecked me so hard this era that like, I just like, yeah, obviously now I collect her, so <laughs> that's how that went. And then we have her. Polaroid in the school suit outfit thing. I'm just missing this one. I'll get it soon, hopefully. But these pages are so satisfying. Next, we have Miss Haruna. 
So with these cards and then okay. So Blonde Haruna, um literally is just everything I could have ever wanted and more, honestly. Like this just Blonde Haruna, that's all I have to say, really. She's she is everything to me. And then we have her the best Polaroid out of the whole set. All the Polaroids, in my opinion. This is just, like, are we kidding? Are we joking? <laughs> God tier? So she'll go right there, and then once again, I am just missing one Polaroid. These godforsaken Polaroids. But so cute. And then I have two pops for my pop page, because I'm weak. Um, so I have K-Town for you round one here, and then this is K-Town for you round two. And, of course, you know, one thing about me is that I cannot resist a photo card of an idol in an animal headband. For some reason, that is my weakness. This Haruna card, everything. Everything. Like, I tried so hard to resist buying these, but they won in the end. And it's nice because the backs are all the same, because they're all the like K-Town Pops. And this is my dump page. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have figure inclusion, so I have stickers from first album, Snowy Night, and second. And then these are a set of the Snowy Night postcards. And then, we come to Kepler, my girls. I love them so much. So obviously I collect Hikaru, Bahie, and Miss Yujun. That is all of it. Okay. Lots of cards. I'm so close to completing this collection. I'm gonna do it before they ever come back. I'm gonna do it before they ever come back. I love my girls so much. Um, I collect select OT9 also because I'm weak. Um, and I could not. And also I bought so many albums that like I could, you know? So we have this Hikaru for my Connect O. OT9 set, and I should have this measure on the way. Praying, praying, please. <laughs> it's been like impossible for me to find that card, but so cute. And then we have Connect Dash, which I have again, Hikaru, and I also have this Diane to put away. I'm just obsessed. Them on Queendom, I'm obsessed. Like, I do think, I feel like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings because like I love all their performances and they're doing amazing and like all the content we're getting is amazing but I just feel like Eminem was kind of setting, setting them up by putting them on that show like they're not on the level of any of the other contestants and that's not fair to them because now they're I don't know I could I could yeah I could talk about it but <laughs> here we have my connect dash set which this young one is the only card I'm missing to complete my entire Kepler collection she will come home soon, hopefully. And then we have Connect 1, which I again have Hikaru. So cute. Hopefully I should be getting the rest of these cards in soon. And then we have my the page for my top three of other cards. And then we have my pod page, which, again, <laughs> the animal headbands. These are the beat road pobs. And I just, I cannot, I cannot resist. I had to have them. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh my god. This back here, everything to me. Okay, and then the sound wave will go here. That'll be my pause for this era. And then we have my, <laughs> it's a dumb page, I guess. I pulled the same three members for K-Town and for, what is this, M-Wave? Um... And Diane's my fourth bias, so of course I could not get rid of this card. <laughs> I just, I could not part with it. So this is my little, very symmetrical and organized dump page. And then we have bigger inclusion, so I have baby cards, and then the postcards, which I'm working on. I don't like collecting bigger inclusions, but like, I want to. We ignore the random Eugen CLC bookmark. Just, just ignore that. And then we have these are extras I need to trade, and then my extra baby cards. 
and extra postcards because again, I bought way too many copies of this album. <laughs> I have a lot. And next up we have empty pages. This is where I will go. I just decided like earlier this week to collect them um, because Love Dive just, it broke me. It broke me <laughs> and I can never, I'm never, I'm never gonna be the same. So I have all of their albums coming hopefully this week and I'll do a video unboxing them and organizing and setting up my collection. So this is temporarily blank and then hint right here at who I'm collecting. And then after that, we have my NMIX girls. I collect Bay and Jiwoo. I love NMIX. Like, listen, okay. Like, the girls who get it, get it. Like, NMIX are just... <sighs> I love them. Oh Oh was just like, I mean, you know, probably one of my most played songs this year. <laughs> embarrassingly. <laughs> but it's so good. So we have their blind package stuff. And then their light version, plus this is make star round two i think and i have this g1 on the way so they are complete then after that we have miss nagyoung my from his collection i love collecting nagyoung it's another very recent decision i would say so it's she's been a little slow this is d1 version um but i love collecting her and it's so much fun and my collection will get there someday, once I have money <laughs> to spend on her. Because for some reason, like, Firmus cars are just, like, impossible to trade for, or even to buy for sometimes. Like, it's difficult. But I have the rest of her, my little society selfie cards here. So, I have the my society versions. Put this one here. So cute. And then we have her other, my account card, which will go up here. I love how this page will all be my little society. And then I have nothing for this page. Hopefully I have this card on the way soon. And then we have Midnight Guest, and I have the last two After Midnight cards I needed, which this Nagyon card, one of her best photo cards. Like, this is the best card in the whole set. Like, I obsessed with her little like bob wig like that is everything to me and i also actually really like this card like i know a lot of people don't like it but it's so cute <laughs> so i'm kind of obsessed with it but yes hopefully i can find this soon again impossible to trade <laughs> for firm's cards but we're working on it and then we have bigger inclusions i have a lot of Young stuff because she's my second bias and I just happened to buy bundles that has her stuff in it too, so ignore that. Um, and then next we have another empty page. This is for Alexa. I have all of her albums on the way. I was able to find her first album, which was really the trigger for me collecting her. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. So her cards will go here. She has three per album. So next video of storing photo cards, hopefully I'll have those to put away. And then lastly, last but not least, we have Rocket Punch. I love Rocket Punch, okay? Like me and these girls, we go back. I love Rocket Punch. Um, so obviously I collect Miss Suyun, but for their first two eras, I collected OT9. I'll try to slide this over and try to make it not be crooked. But I collected OT9 for their first two eras. Obsessed. So cute. And then after that, they started having 5 million cards. <laughs> so I couldn't collect OT9 anymore. <laughs> but for Blue Punch, I have... These are Make Store Round 1 pops. And then the rest of Sian's cards. And then for Ring Ring, which is kind of the bane of my existence. Because for some reason, it's literally impossible like impossible to find ring ring cards it kills me it kills me but i have the pob set here and then seance cards again <laughs> i have two of them all the way finally but like the three the one of her in like the green shirt i just i cannot find them they don't exist <laughs> and it's like the last three cards i need to complete my whole rocket punch collection <sighs> Sian, please come home. 
And then we have Yellow Punch, which thankfully they didn't have 5 million cards for. So I have these two on the way, and then hopefully I'll be able to get a pop that I can put there so it's less empty. But then we have her Punch Time cards. And some other non-album, this is Pink Punch Tower Records, and then her first fan kit card, and then her first Season's Greetings cards. And then for bigger stuff, I have her Everline Pop from Ring Ring, her postcard from the fan kit, and then some album inclusions. And then I have my beautiful um, Red Punch fan sign page, and I have Miss... Diane on the back and we don't talk about this. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Ignore that <laughs> But yes, that is my photo card collection as of right now. Hopefully I'll have a lot more things to post soon. I'm very excited to Start posting videos and to have a space to like share My love for collecting photo cards because it is such a it's something that makes me so happy and no one like none of my IRLs like get that, you know? <laughs> They're like, you collect pieces of paper, that's weird. <laughs> but yes, so I'm super excited. Hopefully I'll be able to post again soon. Hopefully I'll get my Eye of Albums soon and that'll be an exciting video. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry, this is a mess. Hopefully I'll get better. I'll definitely get better. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.